hey what's up guys welcome to my channel in today's video we'll talk about the use for emo info developer beta one and well 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 this was unexpected i mean yeah we expected it but uh it was still 50 50 and uh i apple released i used 14.3 like two days ago and they released 14.4 beta one uh i mean <laughs> this this is just really madness because apple is doing these things really quickly and i'm seriously i'm thinking about this and i thought apple will be releasing this one straight away because tony brony is coming to an end and uh, uh, what do you think about this update and i installed it on my device here if i'll go into settings then in general then in about section if you will look closely at the build number the build number is 18 d 50 then it is a uh, 30 e so ah oh man I'll, I'll clear this out for you guys so here you guys can see yep you guys can see here is it's 18 d 5030 e it means we will be seeing a lot of vitas right now and i have planned a lot of videos for you guys i've made i'm making a separate a review of iphone 7 on this update so you can subscribe and turn on notification i'm installing it on my iphone 11 i'm installing it on all of my devices so if you're interested into that be sure to subscribe and turn on notification now talking about the new features actually there are no new features sad to say i haven't discovered yet and uh, the main thing that i straight away noticed was the performance oh boy it is seriously really fast now i mean i have not at all seen any lag whereas earlier whenever i used to update my iphone 7 i i, I saw a lot of lags i used to see a lot of lag but this is like one of the best firmware i have ever been on my iphone 7 and uh, you will hear more of this on the iphone 7 video so Yup, you can turn on notification. I'm going a lot of videos for you guys. <laughs> now talking about the storage, this after installing this update, this update gave me around uh, 600 MBs after installing on my iPhone 7 and well, it is really big on all of my devices and I'm really curious to see what is new in this firmware. I'm seriously looking into this firmware for like right now it's been like a, almost an hour and i'm looking into this and i'm not able to find any new change except for performance that it is so damn quick and responsive my device have been really responsive on this and uh, i'm really curious to see how my other devices iphone 11 11 pro max iphone 10 are will perform on this firmware and i'm really curious to make videos on that too so yep this is it apple released this form where this was a quick update video i will be doing a separate video on all of these devices so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet what are you doing man subscribe to my channel and turn on notification have you and if you have come this far i know you like this video be sure to comment down below and peace out and yep you can ask anything you want in the comments and you can follow me on my twitter at the tech i've done the most i'm most active there peace out